hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am so so glad to have you back here today so first of all uh, i want to apologize uh because i've not updated in a while and i'm working on that and second thank you so much for your support so uh if you're new here kindly subscribe to my channel and if everything here about academic writing is new to you kindly check out uh, my previous videos so that you can catch up on what we are doing so today's video is going to be really really simple because i'm just going to be showing you guys where to get the legit sources that are used in academic writing so there are a lot of sources on the internet but not all of them are acceptable when it comes to academic writing so i'm going to show you guys where i get my sources to use as references and and to use as work cited if the paper is mla and it's really simple because i'm going to be getting all of them from the internet so uh, what you're seeing here is my browser so I'm just going to use my browser uh, to show you guys where to get the the required sources. So first of all, I'm going to come here and search Google Scholar because Google Scholar is where I get uh, the legit sources for writing. So I'm just going to come here and say Google Scholar. And once we're here, guys, uh, uh, we're going to use this one. So I'm just going to use uh, this Google Scholar here. So this is where uh, I, I get all my sources. So Google Scholar has all sources for everything, okay? Uh, and here is where you search for your sources, okay? So for example, uh, I'm going to uh, assuming you did a paper on uh, on solar energy and you want to get references for those yeah so I'm just going to come here and say for instance if you're doing a paper on benefits of solar energy I'm just going to come here on Google Scholar and type benefits of solar energy benefits of solar energy then search so guys all these are sources that you can use for that paper okay so all you have to do is um we're going to come here and sort by time okay so if you're doing a paper you have to make sure that your references is not uh is not um older than five years for example you can't cite uh you can't use a reference that is um 2010 or 2009 that is like so far away so i'm just going to come here and sort since 2016. so since 2016 and we can see uh these are all the references of since 2016. so this here uh, a review paper on electricity generation from solar energy so you search something that is relevant to your paper so benefits of solar energy uh let's see get anything relevant uh since uh the environmental and public health benefits of achieving high penetrations of solar energy oh there's also this one benefits of solar energy uh there's also potential of solar energy in developing countries so this one can have uh what we are looking for so where do you get the reference from so we're going to come here and see these two quotations okay and then i'm going to double tap that and these are the references that you're going to use for your work so if the paper was in apa i'm going to copy this one if it was in mla i'm going to copy this one if it was in chicago harvard all that so my paper is in apa for example so i'm just going to copy this one and i'm going to use this as my reference so copy so I'm just going to go to my Word document and I'm going to paste it. I'm just going to paste that. This is my reference for benefits of solar energy. So paste. And it's that simple guys. That is all you have to do to find references so so let's go back uh let's do something else 
So for example, let's assume let's do another reference. Assuming your paper was on assuming your paper was on um gray market, for example. This is going to come and say uh for example uh disadvantages of gray market. That that's what your paper was all about. So just come here and say disadvantages of gray market and such. So these are all everything. So there's the rise of black and gray markets, uh, the internet and gray marketing. There's this one here on uh, gray marketing and its impacts on brand equity. So we can use this one. So uh, if you want references, say uh, since 2016, sort by date, let's say since 2016. And there's this one, the effects of gray markets in the international product distribution systems. So this is how green markets affects uh, the normal market, okay? There's also the impact of green markets on product quality and prof profitability. So if I want to use this source as my reference, I'm just going to come in these quotes here. I'm going to click twice. Then if, it's, uh, if my paper wants me to give the references in APA, I'll copy this one. If it's MLA, I'll copy this one. So assuming it's APA, I'm just going to copy this one because it says, uh, this is the name of the authors here, as you can see, this is the year, and then there is the impact of green markets on product quality and profitability. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, then I'm just going to paste it in my work as my reference. So, this is what you're going to use as your, as your reference. There's nothing else, it's actually that simple. Okay. And also you have to remember that every time you use a source like this one in your paper as your reference, you have to in-text it in your work as, a, as an in-text citation. So for instance, uh, if I've done my work, I've done uh, a lot on gray markets. Say, say I'm saying, uh, I say gray markets uh, cause uh, various, um, various disadvantages. Or uh, gray markets have various negative, uh, let's just say negative impact, negative impact on product quality. Okay, so this is this is my work. This is what I had written and have used this one, this part here, as my reference. So how do I cite? this here so you're just going to come here just the way it is so the other is Liu and Pascal so this is what you're going to come here and say uh, brackets just say Liu and we use this end here I'm just going to say and Pascal Pascal then comma then 2020 so this is going to be inside my work okay this is going to be inside my work. So if you if you had used this as your reference, you're going to cite it. You're going to cite it inside your work. So if you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to in-text citations, kindly check my video on how to on how to do this. Uh, on how to use APA and MLA and you're going to find everything there. So guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, the, uh, that is how you find uh, uh, legit scholar resources to use uh, in academic writing. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. So in the, my next video, I'm going to be summarizing all the lessons we have learned about academic writing. What you need to know, what you need to not miss out. And I'll see you in my next video. If you're new here, if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.